everyone, my name is Diane and I'm the owner and creator of Vermont Lavender. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am making a lavender rose and a lavender chamomile bath truffles or you could call them bath scoops. So these are milk bath scoops and they're very similar to bath bombs. All right, so let's get started. Start with eight ounces of baking soda and this recipe makes about 10 scoops but I'm going to split it so I can have two different scents. And then I will do a demo at the end. And then I'm going to add four ounces of citric acid. I need four ounces of goat milk. And I love goat milk. I make uh, goat milk soaps and they just come out so beautiful and they're so nice and moisturizing and gentle on your skin. And then I'm going to add four ounces of my kale and clay. And I'm just going to sift all of this so it's nice and well mixed. So you're going to have some little chunks. You just want to get rid of those. You don't want that in your, your mixture. And I'm going to add colloidal oatmeal. And this is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. That's just where I get a lot of my ingredients. There's another one that's Shea and Company. I just started getting ingredients from them. And the last one is a teaspoon of the SLSA, and that's a sodium lauryl sulfur acetate. I'm going to put my mask on for that because I do have asthma. So anyone that has any any asthma or anything like that or any breathing problems, you definitely want to wear a mask. This is extremely airborne. So I'm just going to fold it in so then it won't be too bad. So this is the cocoa butter right here and I'm just measuring out the 15 grams and it's really hard. All right, I'm going to go melt this in the microwave. So now I have my cocoa butter all melted and I'm going to add 15 milliliters of the cocoa betaine and this is from Shea and Company. And so this is a new one. So it's nice to have different companies that you get your ingredients from. So this is 15 milliliters right here. And this makes it nice and bubbly. It's another and then I'm going to add an emulsifier, and that's the polysorbate 80. And then I'm going to also add one milliliter of my oat extract. I think I'm going to have to melt this a little bit. <laughs> Got a little solid on me. So now this is perfect. Look how liquid this is. So I'm going to pour it right in here. So now I'm going to just I'm going to just drizzle this right on top. Get everything out of there. And then I'll split the batch and add my mica and then also, which I know you're supposed to add it to the liquid. So what I'll do is I'll add it to my fragrance. And the reason you add the uh, liquid, the mica to the liquid is so it doesn't get airborne. Just don't wanna breathe all that stuff in. By my uh, mixer. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm going to split this. I'll do a tablespoon of glycerin. I just want to make sure I measure everything and then I can add a little bit more mica because I want to have a little bit more pink So I'm going to stir that right in here. Just put that right on top. Okay. So let's mix this up. It's all an experiment, right? That's what we're doing here. So the next one should work better. <laughs> okay. smell the lavender and the English rose it smells really pretty nice and floral it's definitely holding together how flat it is that's what you want nice and flat there you go it's perfect Wow, 
Wow, this smells so good. All right, and I have a nice flat surface. That one came out perfect. And see, it has a little bit of that ridge right there, which that's fine, but you want those little ripples. And see those little ripples right in there? It's so pretty. And that's what makes it look like an ice cream scoop. Oh, they're coming out really nice now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Really nice. Okay, so I'm going to put some sprinkles on it. little candy sprinkles right there and this is my little mica that I'm using and these are all eco-friendly uh, biodegradable mica and it's all skin safe you want to make sure that your any of the colorants that you use or uh, micas and even the fragrances you want to make sure they're all skin safe So let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Have you ever tried making bath truffles or bath scoops? And if you have, tell me any of your, <laughs> your pitfalls that you've had. And this is a lot of fun. I really love making all these products. And so I'm going to give some of these to my daughter and then she's going to give some of them to her friends and try them out. And the goat milk, since they are teenagers, the goat milk and the kale and clay should help them out with their their acne so there's nothing really um, in these the milk is very softening to the skin even if you have dry skin joining me in this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up I really appreciate it and the next video to watch is here and I'll see you in the next video bye for now